Okay guys, so today we have a really interesting test. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you back to the PJ show. Yes. Demo yes. day. Felt like it was <laughs> yeah, minus, right. about minus 10 degrees yeah, and, and we're, we'd literally just walked in and we're making our way around and mm -hmm. we had an appointment uh, with Chris Bochelle up at Ping. That's right. Mizuno. And we, we're on our way by and we see this big, big banner mm -hmm. um, at the Wilson booth. Yes. Where Very it, big banner. Big banner. And it said, uh, I think the banner was soft as long. long. Yeah. And, uh, and then there was some kind of smaller writing underneath where there was some bold claims that mm -hmm. they had developed a golf ball that they found to be consistently longer than a Pro V1. Yeah, I want to say five to seven yards, something yeah. like that. It was, I think it was a couple of miles an hour of, of ball speed yes. and that equated to five to seven yards, I think, mm -hmm. in their testing. So, you know, right here? yeah, we obviously are... You know, we've known kind of the conversations that's been going on in the industry over the last year mm -hmm. about compression and, and what's what's sort of going on from that standpoint. It, it was fairly evident that it was a, a pop at people who oh, been sure. calling uh, soft golf balls Slow. slower, and we would be one of those people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have been testing soft and firm golf balls and have consistently found firmer golf balls to be longer yes. um, and and higher in ball speed for sure. You know, so that's that's the thing. So we were really interested yeah. uh, by this, and, and yeah, we couldn't wait to get uh, this one uh, in our hands. Definitely. Um, so the Duo Soft Plus two-piece golf ball, mm -hmm. thirty-five compression, um, really, really soft. I mean, w instantly when when you kind of bounce it, when you hit it, yeah. It literally feels like a marshmallow. Yeah, it is a completely different sound, so much so that we made an Instagram story of it just to see <laughs> if people could guess how soft that ball was because it's, it's, it's crazy the yeah. difference between that and a Pro V1X uh, left dash that you, were, exactly. that you were bouncing up and down. If you're ever going to get hit by a golf ball, you hope that that's the one that gets <laughs> it's just you. just dings it right in the skull because you won't feel it. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do some testing. Our usual um, test when it comes to uh, golf ball testing, we're going to do a, a wedge, a seven and a driver. Yes. Uh, we're going to look at sort of launch and spin and speed and all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, the cover on this one seems to be quite firm. Okay. Uh, I think one of the things that they have tried to do um, is, is obviously reduce spin. Mm -hmm. It looks to me like they've tried to maybe uh, compensate for, for the softer core. Okay. And if they could speed the core up so it's not slow. Right. But then take a little bit of the spin down with the cover to then make it go a little bit further. Okay. So if it, it's maybe not quite getting there with their yeah, speed, it gotcha. will get there due to the, due the slightly uh, slightly lower spin rate. Interesting. Being a softer compression golf ball, what we find is they launch a little bit lower, don't we? Yes, we do. Normally, yep. we, we see that that comes out a little lower. So lower launch, lower spin. Mm. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if it's kind of comparable for speed. And, and where that all shakes out. Yeah, very curious. Um, I think the only other thing I would note is part of the reason we're curious about this is 20 bucks a dozen. 20 bucks a dozen. Like if these things are even close to as, as decent as a Pro V1 is on performance, like that's a lot of money yeah, for a box of balls. We're doing Pro V1 because it obviously is that's a, what they a said. more comparable, uh, yeah, that's the test. That's what they challenged it against yeah. was a Pro V1, so that's why we're using it. The one point. that you probably, if you are playing a tight certain golf ball, like, like an AVX. It's cl probably closer to an AVX. Probably closer yeah, to an AVX in terms of uh, the, the, the cover is designed to reduce spin, the core is designed to produce a real soft feel True. of the wedges, the putter, that sort of thing. But let's, I want to keep the, the challenge consistent with, yeah. what, with what they do. So That's let's exactly do it. it. All right. Okay. It's soft. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> is it awkwardly soft? Uh, it's it's uh, strikingly soft. That went a long way too. Got some serious yep. distance out of these things. Whoa! That is a solid eight yards longer than I would normally hit this club. That's good. Hmm. Jeez, feels like hitting a rock now. That's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Well, there's my yardage back. Yep. It's nice. That's eight or nine yards. I know the wedge wasn't on their test, but it is doing what they said on a wedge, for whatever that's worth. It's a nice one. That's really nice, isn't it? What a bizarre sound that is. It's 
Nice. Oh, Wilson duo. That thing has got some it's gone. legs, man. I didn't even hit it that hard. 200 in the air. Yeah, you struck those last two. Those Absolutely two are good. Absolutely perfect. Yep. That sounds different. Just a brick, isn't it? <laughs> no, and it's not, but it's just... It's not, but it makes you feel like you're hitting... It sounds like a brick. Feels like you're hitting a range ball all of a sudden. That's a good one. Sounded very solid, that one, Matty boy. It gets to like 75% of the way there and it, and it rises, where the mm. other one just kind of kept going. That felt good. I think that's a goodie. That's 120 club speed. Let's get swing. A distance. That's good. Okay, lovely. Lovely. That's nice. That's, That's absolutely good. given the treatment, isn't it? Crush. That is given the treatment. Good. Lovely. One more. So a little modification for uh, a, a test that we're doing out of our own yeah. interest. We want to see if the golf ball works better at slower driver speed. Yeah. I think that's very appropriate for the, the viewership to see whether, you know, maybe it's not for you, but it's absolutely for you guys. For sure. Yeah. What so, is the speed at which it activates yeah. properly, right? Okay. So about 94 miles an hour if we can do it. Let's try that. Average male swing speed. It's a better strike. That's nice. That's got to be pretty close. I should hope so. What do you think of that? That's nice. A little quick 96. 95.5. Okay, beautiful. Ooh, yes. That is a good one. Oh, yes. 95.9. Okay. Well, we've got one more. Mm, it's a beauty. All right, let's see what we see. Okay, um, no question, one of the more interesting tests we've ever done. Yeah, that's a golf ball that has some unexpected characteristics of it, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and they've obviously, the, the, the formula has been tampered with. Mm. <laughs> yes, that. I mean, that's, that's, that's fair. The formula's been tampered with. There's, yeah. There are some, uh, some design sort of uh, influences that have really changed how this ball reacts. Mm. And, uh, from a spin perspective, that was the first thing that stood out to us. Low spin on a wedge, for sure. Yeah, very, very low, low spin. spin. So we, we saw a thousand less than the Pro V1. Yep. So we saw 10,597. We saw 9,531. Mm -hmm. But the thing with the wedge that shocked us was how jumpy the, uh, the Wilson was off the face. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid, I mean, five yards carry. And there were ones that were quite a bit mm -hmm. more. Like, I hit a few that I didn't hit hard that were eight or nine yards carry further. So... More ball speed, mm -hmm. similar launch, and less spin. Yeah, it's a club. Like it was a club on the wedges. It was really, distance. really interesting. So initially, it perked our interest to say, I mean, maybe there's something going on here. I think I literally said this test is feasible after I hit like two shots. Yeah, uh, of wedges because it it looked that way. Definitely. So, far. so we're going to go into the seven irons. Um, 
the acoustics off the, the <laughs> dual golf ball were, 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 were quite shocking, weren't they? I mean, just being Bizarre. so soft. It made me think the Pro V1 was an actual rock, a rock by comparison, which is obviously far from far from the truth. Yeah. So, identical ball speed. Yeah, we start to see it really level out from a ball speed perspective on the 7-iron. Uh -huh. Identical. Didn't expect that whatsoever. No, me neither. And, uh, and I was surprised that we saw the launch angle higher on both the wedge and the 7-iron with the softer ball. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if we are dealing with less spin, we are dealing with lower friction, we are getting the ball, will launch out a slightly higher window. So the cover firmness is, was more of a determining factor of Cover, um, yeah, exactly. And composition, cover, yeah, like yeah. this isn't your it, thing. It's kind of slipping off the right. face and, Doesn't and have skidding upward. Um, so again, it's another a half a club in there, another six yards. So we saw five yards of the wedge, six yards with a seven iron, another thousand RPM. So we have to call parts of their claims as possible because the reality is definitely the ball speed thing obviously wasn't really a factor on the 7 iron. Now, we didn't hit a million shots, so I'm not going to say conclusively, but from what we saw, the ball speed wasn't more on mm -hmm. the 7 iron at my speed, but it was six yards further, yeah. and it was about five, six yards further on a wedge. So it's not totally wrong, yeah. but I don't know that it's getting it through. Well, I know it's not mm -hmm. through ball speed. It's through spin. Through, through spin, right. and, and we're starting to see that. So. Um, there was more speed on the wedge, there was identical on the 7-iron, but here's where it gets real interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we called this, um, that we thought this might happen. Uh, I'm actually going to isolate this yeah, one a little bit the more. In there. Yeah. So, wild difference when it got to, got to the driver. Yeah, never seen that much ball speed between two balls ever. That's, that's the most we've, yeah, it's the most we've ever seen, It's never it? been more than four, I don't think. Never. So, we have six mile an hour difference. We have uh, the launch angle, starting to increase so at this point we were really influencing the compression of the golf ball we start to see the ball change characteristics yep. entirely yeah for sure uh so we still have low spin mm -hmm. but we also have low speed and low launch yeah um so that stops being something that's that's kind of all that good yeah. for someone of your of speed. speed which is why we stopped there and went okay so then let's look at probably who the ball's marketed Correct. more towards which is a person who swings 94 miles an hour that's your average player and so we did the test basically again with the driver. Yeah. So we saw... Um, Is that 2.4? Two and a half, yeah, 2.4 miles yeah. an hour. We saw a degree and a half, interestingly, a lot higher with the, uh, with the duo. Launch angle, yeah. Interesting. Lower yeah. spin. Lower spin, which we expected. But uh, yeah, it was at 220 uh, RPMs. Same result. Same distance, largely due to the, the, the speed and spin differences kind of cancelled uh, one another out. Yeah. We really standardised all we could in the strike, but here's where it got interesting. Yeah. It, it, the efficiency improved mm -hmm. at 95 miles an hour, but we were still way more efficient off the driver with, with, a, Pro uh, with a Pro V1. And that's the part where I, I, I wanted to do that test of that speed because I thought, okay, well, swinging slowly, surely the softer ball mm -hmm. should come back to life sure. kind of thing. Yeah, maybe the over-compression is, is, is what's causing the problem here. And it's just, it just it, The reality is even at a slower speed, all that loft is gone. You have 10, yeah. you, the ball's going to get compressed mm -hmm. a lot, even at a slower speed. So it, it's, too, it's compressing too much even at 94 miles an hour. So what we're basically saying, guys, mm -hmm. is that as speed... Uh, as speed comes down, say you're 80 miles an hour, you will see that difference less. Yes. But what you will also see is less of a gain on the other side. So mm -hmm. the wedges and the irons, you won't see as much of a gain uh, on, on that end. Is it safe to say the really soft ball is not giving anyone more ball speed, no matter what speed you're at? I mean, it, on, on, the, on the softer on a, shots with the wedges, on a wedge, yes. when you're not compressing it with obviously a straighter face club, right. It, it definitely there's there's some okay. there's some real jumpiness to that. So once you lose ball. the loft, once the face starts to straighten and we're creating more compression, right, we are starting to see the golf ball uh, change characteristics. Now, gotcha. I mean, it's th it's still fascinating mm -hmm. that a golf ball that is that soft can be comparable with a Pro V1 with a seven iron. I totally agree. With I that. think that's I think that's really interesting. And, and you aside know, from spin, yes, you're right. It was it was a very similar yeah. looking. Well, all the characteristics except spin are the same. And, and the, I would be curious if in the future can there be another layer added to this mm. where you can actually change the characteristics of the golf ball at the point where you start to compress it more. Gotcha. So whether it becomes not just a two-piece low compression, maybe it's a three or a four. An inner core 
would stabilize yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, okay. you know, the, the, the golf ball boffins out there will, will know mm. certainly a lot more than us, but, you know, if they were to take the layering into a, a slightly different spot, can you start to influence uh, the, the additional compression to make it react a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker? And I guess at that point, the only issue is it probably isn't a $20 a dozen ball anymore probably. once you start doing yeah. what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. And then it becomes a higher priced yeah. product. So it is definitely interesting. Um, I think you're right, though. I would imagine the next generation of it, they'll, they'll see some of this testing and they'll say, OK, some mm -hmm. good stuff is definitely some going on. There's stuff. some very interesting stuff um, that we have never seen before. Yeah, yeah. But it probably still needs refining when the loft is yeah. gone, uh, mm -hmm. lower end of the bag. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, golf ball testing is always an eyebrow raiser, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. it yeah, always this did is. not disappoint. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.